Hi guys, Dan Picard here with Eastman's Bow Hunting Journal. Today we have the Hoyt RX1 Ultra. Down to just about freezing. It's the red work line from this year. This is the Ultra, so it's 35 inches axle to axle. I think the standard one's 32 inches, so it's a little bit longer. Six inch brace height. IBO is 330. They've changed a lot this year. A lot of minor things and some major things too. The first thing I'd like to note is that the width of the limb pocket on the top is a half inch narrower than the limb pocket on the bottom. So we're a full half inches wider with our limb pocket down here, which is new with the hyper cam system and the split cable system. And you can see the split off the mods down here. This decreases the need for the reliability of a flex guard up here. So there's no flexible cable guard anymore. It's just simply two rollers attached directly to the riser and that's all you need. So that's pretty cool. What I also like from Hoyt this year too is, is the offset stabilizer port. You can see it's offset of center shot. So it's offset to the left of the bow and the whole reasoning behind it is to counterweight your sight and your quiver up top and you can put any sort of stabilization system or just a regular stab out the front or the back counterbalance uh, your quiver and your sight so and that'll give you a nice stable platform regarding the rest on some of the cable driven rests, this is actually designed to tie in right in here in this split of the cable but for example the trophy ridge drop zone i had some clearance issues with this part of the riser and the cable just making contact with it. Technically, I don't think that it matters, but it bugs me. I don't like my rest cable coming in contact with my riser. For that reason, I prefer a limb-driven rest on a Hoyt, and so that's why I went with the Hamski on this one, and you can see there's plenty of clearance past the riser down to your lower limb here. All right, new this year is the X-Act grip. And I like it a little better than the traditional Hoyt grip. It's a little more thin, a little more streamlined, but it's really comfortable. And it kind of has a flat back to it right here. And so that's also an improvement from Hoyt this year that I really do like. So this is a six inch brace height. Very comfortable draw cycle. It's one of the easier ones of any Hoyts that I've ever shot to hold. New this year, they're up to 85% let off. So that plays a big role into it, but it feels like I could just sit here all day and hold this, this bow back. So very comfortable. Very easy draw for, for 70 pounds rather. This is a 28 inch draw, so it's an inch, inch shorter than uh, what I normally shoot, but it's right in there. So yeah, nice on the shot, dead in the hand. Can't really ask for any more from a new bow these days. So we'll shoot another one and then we'll run it through the chronograph and see what kind of speeds we're getting out of it. Okay, got the chronograph all set up. We have a Bloodsport Punisher 300. Uh, this arrow with 100 grain tip weighs 431 grains. I just weighed them at the office. So once again, 70 pound limbs, 28 inch draw. Let's see what we get. First shot, I haven't shot it through the chronograph yet. So let's see what it does. Two seventy nine, not too bad. Let's do one more just for consistency sake. 284, a little bit of variance, five feet per second difference, but right around 280 feet per second. So that's pretty good and it's kind of to be expected. 28 inch draw, 70 pound limbs and a 330 IBO. All right guys, that's the Hoyt Carbon RX1 Ultra. Forgot to mention too, the carbon riser, super nice to the touch in the cold weather. That's why I do really enjoy the carbon fiber riser. Be sure to check out our other bow reviews, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks guys.